Miss Adeline is one month old today. I cannot believe it. She is pretty knocked out right now. Hopefully she'll wake up sometime during this video so you can see her a little bit, but if not, then you will get to see more of her on Friday for Friday's vlog. She has just been like so super awake now, like so much more alert than she was before. Even though she still sleeps like the majority of the time, she still is awake for a lot of it too. I just cannot believe that she is one whole month already. That is just absolutely insane to me. I weighed her and she weighs 10 pounds, six ounces now. So she's gained almost three pounds since birth. And I mean, it's kind of almost four pounds because she went down to 614 after she was born. So she is back up to 10 pounds, six ounces. And I'm not sure exactly how long she is. I didn't measure that, but she is just growing so fast. And I just wish she would just slow down a little bit, like just a little bit, just a little teeny tiny teeny tiny bit. So although she is 10 pounds and that seems like huge, I don't know, she is still pretty much mostly in newborn clothes. Yesterday for the first time I put a newborn outfit on her and it was too small. So she's like just now starting to grow out of her newborn size clothes. It seems like she's huge, but I think she's like really short or something because I do not remember any of my kids staying in newborn size this long. I feel like they were all out of newborn by like a week or two. And just yesterday, we bought size one diapers. So she is just now getting out of the newborn size clothes, the newborn size diapers, like all those little sizes. And I've noticed that her head is actually growing too. And that's kind of like a weird observation, but obviously we put bows on her and there are a ton of bows when she was born that didn't fit her. And they're like all starting to kind of fit. So I can tell that she's just like growing so much, which is good. I know it's good, but it's just kind of bittersweet because this is my last baby. And so the last time I'm going to have this like little tiny thing to love on. So like I said, she is starting to get so much more alert now. She will stay awake for like significantly longer periods of time. Like on average when she wakes up, she'll stay awake for like at least an hour and maybe even sometimes like two hours, but still the rest of the day she still does sleep. And the thing is with her though, she sleeps so well when it's loud and chaotic and there's kids screaming and running around. Like I'm not even exaggerating. The second it gets quiet, like if I try to move her into my room where it's quiet, she will wake right up. She's like, something's not right. She just fits in with this family so well. Like it's just calming to her to hear like kids running around and screaming and playing. And also if I'm like talking too, like if I'm quiet, she'll wake up. And then if I'm like talking, she'll just like pass right back out. So one thing that I noticed about her is she still startles herself all the time or like not necessarily herself, but like if we pick her up too quickly or set her down too quickly, she does the startle reflex. I don't really know how to explain that if you don't know what it is, but like you'll just put them down and their, their arms will kind of like flail out. But she does that so much. Like she's constantly startling herself, which is kind of sad. She's a very vocal sleeper. I don't even know if that makes sense, but like, so throughout the night, I guess let me start with that. Throughout the night, she is such a perfect sleeper. Like I could not have asked for a better sleeper. I don't know if it's just because she's just like in bed with me all the time, but she literally will wake me up maybe once or twice throughout the night to nurse. Um, she does, however, keep me up because she's just a loud sleeper. She just like grunts in her sleep and she's like, I don't know if she's going to like sleep talk or something when she gets older, but she'll be laying there and just like talking like, and she's not even awake. Like she's totally knocked out. So I don't know. There is a period of time during the night where she like stays awake. It seems like every single night from like, it's just like right when the other kids go to bed where she wakes up and then she'll be up for like two hours past that. It's like her longest time frame of like being awake is during this one time of night. And luckily it ends usually around like 11 p.m. at the latest. So I'll still get to go to bed by that time. But she just is so awake and that's when she's like her happiest. Her Like she's super smiley, super just aware and her obsession with the fan is unreal. Let me tell you that we have a fan right above our bed and she just stares at it for like, I want to say hours, but she's not awake for hours, but she'll just stare at it for like long periods of time. And it's like, what is so fascinating about that fan? I really don't understand. Once she falls asleep, there's been a few different times where I tried to like set her in the swing or set her in her little like rock and play sleeper, whatever the heck that thing is called. Um, that's where she sleeps the majority of the time, not in the swing and that other thing. And when I'm putting her to bed at night, I tried, to, I tried putting her in the crib last night and I tried the swing and I tried the other thing that she sleeps in too. And for some reason, she sleeps perfectly fine during the day and those things. But when it's nighttime, she just wants to be right next to mommy. And it's like, she doesn't even want to nurse necessarily. So she just wants to touch me. Like she wants to feel like my warmth, I guess. So as long as she's right next to me, she is knocked out. So although I'm getting 
pretty good sleep. It's not like as good as you would think it would be because I'm constantly waking up making sure that she's breathing. <laughs> she is obviously co-sleeping, but she is a great co-sleeper and I could not have asked for a better like sleeper at night. I don't remember any of my other kids sleeping this well at nighttime. The thing with her though is that she has to sleep on her stomach. I kid you not, she will start on her back. I never put her on anything other than her back and maybe her side. And she, without fail, every single night she ends up on her stomach. And she's really good at keeping her face like face out. I've never woken up and seen her like face down, but it still makes me really nervous. I'm not even exaggerating. She rolls over in her sleep or awake or whatever. She completely rolls over to be on her stomach so she can sleep. And once she's on her stomach, knocked out like a baby like so good such a good sleeper now that she's been like more awake for a lot of the time she doesn't like to lay down she wants to sit up she wants to stand up she wants to be talked to she wants attention and she wants to feel involved <laughs> like in your life if i lay her down and she's awake she'll be okay with it for a little while but then she's like no i want you to sit me up i want you to stand me up so i'll like even stand her up and she'll put pressure on her feet to stand up so that's just kind of crazy to me and although I swear she's been smiling since birth like you guys have seen it I caught it on camera like there has been times where I'll just talk to her and she smiles she is now officially officially smiling like completely eye contact big smile on her face whenever she hears my voice or if I'm talking to her um, if you just like interact with her she gets the biggest smile on her face and it's the cutest thing in the world but I swear she has been smiling since birth like there was never a time where she didn't smile I don't know it's just the weirdest thing just for being a month old I think she's just so happy all the time and she's a pretty easygoing baby too like she hates car rides that's the one thing that she hates that's probably the only thing that she really really hates other than that like as as long as she's held, which she's held like 99% of the day, then she is just perfect. So I couldn't have asked for a better newborn to add onto our crazy hectic family already. She's very like go with the flow. It takes kind of a lot to upset her, but when she does get upset, then she's livid. I mentioned this a few different times. She has that sassy personality where as long as everything goes her way, she's cool. And then once something happens, she is just, it's all over from there. Car rides, for example, when she's in the car, once you buckle her into that car seat, it's like a screaming bloody murder. But any other time of the day, she's perfectly fine. One thing that I've noticed about her is that she still has a ton of baby acne and it's nothing new. It is the exact same spots of acne that she's had since she came out of me. So it's not like she's got anymore it's just that the ones that she's had has not disappeared I'll show you here in a minute but I don't know what like can you get rid of baby acne I don't know like I'm I don't remember any of my other kids having like, baby acne this late I mean I know they all had it but I don't know I could just be completely like remembering wrong but she has so much baby acne and it's just like not going away I feel like it should be gone at a month old I don't know if anybody has any like remedies for that I'm not gonna like go and put like chemicals on my baby's skin or anything but I don't know let me know if there's anything I can do to kind of like help make it go away <laughs> she is a fantastic nurser and I've said this since day one she latched on within like 30 seconds of being put on the breast after she was born so um, she's just such a great nurser she's still such a great nurser and the thing that I really kind of like about her is that she doesn't really care to comfort nurse too much she pretty much just eats when she's hungry and I remember Landon was like this and he continued to be like this until he was like two then he just started doing it just because he wanted to but she just wants to eat when she's hungry and then when she's full she's done and that's that's just that and the other thing with her though is that she hates having a dirty diaper and this is like kind of I mean it's like duh like of course you're gonna change your kid's diaper when they go when they pee or poop or whatever I feel like the other kids as babies didn't really care if they sat in it not that I would just like let them sit in it obviously I would always change them but she it's like the second she pees or the second she poops she wants out of the dirty diaper so she's got good hygiene at a month old I guess I don't know she just doesn't want anything to do with it her hair color and her eye color I know that people are still always asking about that and her hair is definitely still red and she's starting to get a lot more of it so it's starting to grow on the top and it's so hard to see in um, different lighting but I'll try to hold her up in a second and her eyes are blue depending on like the lighting and what it looks like they range from being like a dark blue to like kind of a light blue but they're definitely just blue right now so I mean I have blue eyes and Chris has blue eyes so I'm kind of thinking that it'll stay blue eyes but I'm not a hundred percent sure I'm definitely so interested to see like 
how she what she looks like as she gets older and she like gets more hair and stuff I just I can't believe that I might possibly have a redheaded child that's just insane to me and I know it shouldn't be because I have red hair but it's like I don't know I have so many and none of them had red hair so I don't know we'll see I guess only time will tell the other thing I wanted to talk about is her birth certificate because um, a lot of people don't talk about this like I had no idea about anything like this until I had Landon when you have a hospital birth the hospital deals with like the birth certificate stuff for you like they all they do all that for you and when you have a home birth that's all stuff that you have to take care of yourself basically the midwife has to like to give you a piece of paper and they have to give you like you have to sign something saying that they're they were a witness and like all this stuff but our appointment to get her birth certificate is tomorrow. So it's kind of just a weird concept, kind of a different thing to go through when you have a home birth. And it's so funny, the paperwork that you read is so funny because it asks such weird questions on there sometimes. That appointment is tomorrow and everything should go smoothly with that. And then after you get their birth certificate, then you can get like their social security card and get all that kind of stuff afterwards. So if anybody's curious, that's kind of how it works. I could talk more about it. I just don't know if anybody really cares to hear um, like that process. I think that's actually it for her. As for me postpartum, I'm feeling just great. Again, I cannot tell you how great I feel not being pregnant. It's, it sounds bad, but I just, I was miserable. I was miserable when I was pregnant. So, I mean, I just feel so great. I feel so normal. My bleeding completely stopped after, like right before two weeks. I think I talked about it in my li a little bit in my last video. Um, but it pretty much completely stopped and then just this last week it started picking up again So or not this last week like these last couple days it started picking up again So I don't know if I'm just like getting a real period or if it's like still part of the postpartum bleeding, but I don't know your body is just so like off the hook when you're postpartum especially if you're breastfeeding so it's kind of hard to tell exactly what's happening there I pumped for her a little bit for the very first time um, since my milk came in and my god like I know that I have a lot of milk like I've never had problems feeding my babies like supply problems at all but I pumped the other day and I just sat down and I kid you not I pumped for probably five minutes maybe like maybe 10 probably more like five and I got almost 10 ounces <laughs> just pumping in that one sitting so my milk supply is great and I feel like it's starting to kind of like even out with what she needs because your body at first makes like so much milk and then as it kind of becomes accustomed to like your baby's routine it starts to like kind of mellow out so I've actually been taking advantage of the engorgement that I have and I've been pumping just so I can have it on hand because it's good in the freezer for I think like six months or something like that so I've been pumping and putting it into bags just for like any time that I can't be with her like if I end up taking a class in school or if I just have to go to the store and she can't come or you know just any any kind of like little thing like that I just like to have a little stash ready for her we did try the bottle with her one time just to make sure she doesn't like completely not take the bottle because all of my kids have kind of been pretty easy going from bottle to breast and then back from breast to bottle I haven't had any problems with nipple confusion or anything like that but I wanted to introduce the bottle just so that she's not completely used to just me like I wanted to make sure that she'll at least take a bottle in case there is an emergency or or I had to go somewhere that she couldn't be or something like that so she did have her first bottle and she took it perfectly fine there was no problem she let straight back onto me afterwards when she got hungry again so that was not a problem at all and that's good to know for me so I mean I think that's kind of it I can't really think of what else to update on so I know you guys want to see my postpartum belly so I guess I'll go ahead and put her down even though she's being so sweet right now um, I'll put her down and I'll show you guys my one month postpartum belly. Alright, so this is, I'm kind of just wearing like this sweater looking thing today, but here's with the shirt on. I wanted to show you guys my wrap real quick. This is the wrap that I wear all the time. I talked about it a little bit, um, but this is what helps so much with my diastasis, my muscle problems, so that it doesn't feel like my guts are pouring out of me. So I wear this pretty much 24 seven. It's called a squeam. You, I buy it off of Amazon. I don't, there's probably other places you can buy it too, but you could just type it in and it should come up. So let me go ahead and show you without this on. I should have taken this off like way before, but I wanted to show you guys that wrap. But here is with the shirt up. So that is it for this week's Wednesday video, guys. Look out for my Friday video. I'm filming a day in the life video. I know it's been highly requested, like a day in the life with five kids, including a newborn. So definitely look out for that video on Friday. I will have that ready for you. And other than that, we will see you guys for our next video. She's trying to nurse my face. Now she wants to wake up right when the video's ending. Let me see if you can see her hair at all. 
but she just has like little fuzz back there. It's like so hard to see. It's getting dark outside, so I don't have the greatest lighting. Most of this is like light from our room. Oh, she's being in my ear. So you can see her baby acne on her face right there. A little bit, just the little white dots. She loves being sat up like this. Maybe you guys can see it if I sit her like this. Is that what you want, huh? Do you just want to be sat like that all the time? Looking around? And her head control too. That's one thing I didn't talk about. But as you can see, as you can see, her head control is getting very, very good. So that is it for this week's video, guys. Make sure you follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram. I will have those links down below. And other than that, we will see you guys on Friday for our next video. Bye! Lilia, where do you think Adeline would be? Oh, yeah, we didn't do that. Because when you are zero, zero, you all feel the night.